you feel like you're not successful enough to even gain an audience. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So how to build a brand in 2020. I keep getting DMs on my Instagram of like questions, how to build a brand, how to connect with a fan base. And as a music artist, obviously I have to like pay attention to the algorithms and all this kind of stuff to work out the best way to reach my potential audience. So I just want to talk about it and give my opinion because I really feel like 2020 is basically the difference or like the bridge between the people that are just after the fame and the money and like the quick fix to success and then the people that are actually doing it for the right reasons and that actually love what they do and are like striving for an actual purpose you know behind what they're trying to build and create so for me when you scrap all the algorithms and all that stuff because at the end of the day you can't control what these companies are going to do they obviously care about their money. They want you to pay for adverts. They want you to invest in your career, like, because they want to make money. So what they're doing and the different changes that they're going to make, like, you can't really predict that stuff, you know. They're going to keep changing it. They're going to keep making it harder. But I do feel like the way the world is changing, the way, like, mental health has become a big thing, the way people are learning about spiritual teachings and discovering who we are and why we came here and the fact that everything runs on frequency and the fact that we're gods in a vessel you know like all of this knowledge and the ancient hermetic teachings are all coming to light now so it's easy to tell who's authentic and who's not you know and I feel like purpose and your heart and all of these kind of things are becoming way more important like even down to the kind of content that you make when you can tell something staged and fake and and, and like set up it's just almost annoying now you know like it's it's not got the wow factor or the funny factor that it used to have a few years ago so I think things are kind of shifting into more of an authentic standpoint where people want you to be real like they don't care about I mean of course reality shows and stuff like that are still going to be huge and the drama is still wanted but at the same time people want to see the normal stuff you know like they want to see the real thing the real truth, the real arguments, the real struggle instead of the fake or instead of just the glamorous because it, it like it separates you from people you know if you're just revealing the highlight reel I mean it separates you from the rest of society because everybody struggles you know and if you're just portraying this perfect image and they're not seeing your struggle then you're like a separate thing you know you're not relatable because nobody is perfect and everyone goes through struggle so what you can do what you can focus on doing which is literally all I'm able to do like is the only thing that there is that's consistent that will never change is you being yourself is you following your purpose and understanding why it is that you want to um, grow the audience that you do like why it is that you're striving for this goal what it what value you're trying to bring people you know like what are you offering the world because so many people want fame they want money they want success they want all this material stuff they want to live the best life but what are they actually giving back like what are they actually doing for the world what are they actually bringing to the world you know we've got people that we literally idolize for the way that they look or something that they've done or whatever but they're not actually bringing any value to society you know and that's not digging at anyone in particular, that's not calling anyone out, I'm just saying that that's the way that the culture has kind of gone, where we literally idolise people for no reason, really, especially with Instagram, because that's how a lot of people have grown the audiences that they have in the past, is through their highlight reel, you know, it's through just posting the surface level, superficial, all of the shit that doesn't matter, to be honest. But it is still a highlight reel. They're just posting the perfectness of everything and leaving out the rest. And I really feel like we're transitioning into a period now where people don't want to see that anymore. You know, we don't care about your car. Wonderful, you leased a car. Brilliant. You know, and that's not to judge anyone because I really don't care. But it's just saying like, the material stuff doesn't matter. 
and I feel and I know from myself when I was first trying to learn how to build an audience and stuff like you feel like you're not successful enough to even gain an audience or like for me putting out music it would feel like I needed to become this huge character and like act a certain way in order to tra attract an audience you know like I needed to become something else or like become like a character literally I needed to like portray this perfect person you know or a certain type of personality in order to attract an audience and I mean I could have easily done that and maybe I would have blown up much sooner but like it just doesn't feel right all you ever need to do literally all you need to do is just be yourself seriously you know you just need to be authentic you need to figure out what it is that you want to do and why what it is that you're trying to bring to people like why would they want to come to you so for me with music why would they want to listen to my song what am i saying in the music what does it sound like what's the vibe what emotion am i going to trigger with people when they hear it you know like what am i bringing to the table is kind of the question you need to ask yourself like what are you trying to give to the world what is your message what mark, what impact do you want to have on the world? And when you understand that, and you know your gifts and your talents of whatever kind of niche it is that you're in, like, you will have that impact, you know? And you don't need to reach the entire world to have an impact. You could have an impact just by speaking to 10 people, you know? By speaking to one person. Because I really feel like the whole idea that you need to... Um, I can only really speak to music but like sign to a label or maybe you'd get investors if you're doing some other kind of career like the idea that you need to blow up and be this idea of huge success is old it's dead it's ridiculous you know like that's not impact anymore because oftentimes these people aren't even happy you know they're literally like a caged animal surrounded by fucking paparazzi and shit all the time so it's not even a life that I would wish on anyone or that I would even want so I really feel like we need to stop idolizing and striving and like hoping and wishing that we could be this huge thing that's really an illusion it's not real you know it's really not real that idea of success that you have in your mind is not even real because you're successful right now literally right now just by creating whatever it is that you wanted to create by like typing up your ideas by researching how to start a brand all of that makes you successful because who decides what success is you know so I really think how to build a brand in 2020 is to just be yourself and provide value to your consumer and it doesn't matter how many that is like if we would let go of the worry about the numbers the numbers would just come by themselves you know because the numbers really don't matter what matters is that you feel good while you're doing it you know because there's people that reach millions and millions of people but they don't feel good while doing it so like that's not a life that's not success that's not happiness that's not fulfillment so the numbers don't matter it's just how you feel while you're on that journey of getting there you know like why how you feel while you're doing the thing that you want to do so yeah I just think to be honest like part of it and I know for me part of it was that I wanted to like I wanted to be successful so people would like look to me and uh, I guess it's kind of wanting to be admired and I know that sounds really fucking ridiculous but I'm just being honest you know I kind of did want that admiration I wanted people to be like yeah she makes good music like yes oh my god I love her music yes you know but that's such a ego based human thing and now I realize that doesn't even mean anything you know because I didn't even believe in myself to even put the music out there so how would I ever get that anyway so if we would all just stop worrying about how successful we look to other people and focus on what it is that we have to say and actually creating those connections with people like you want to build an audience you want people to buy from you or to listen to you or to watch you speak to them you know <laughs> like they could be your friends you know it's no longer about like having these people worship you because who are you to have them worship you like what for they should be worshiping themselves you know we all should be worshiping ourselves connecting with each other on an equal level and like sharing our own gifts because that person that you want to admire you or that you want to buy your thing could have their own talent 
And if you'd listen to it or watch their video or whatever it is that they're doing, you'd realise, oh my God, they're really talented too. They're really good at what they do. So it should be an equal thing, you know? Nobody is better than anybody else. We're all people. We all deal with the same things. We all go through different, like, circumstances and situations that end up being pretty similar, to be honest. So, like, I'm just glad that everything is kind of crumbling to be honest and the whole superficial shit is all dying out and people just want authenticity like that's yeah <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore so I just think we need to stop worrying about all the stuff that doesn't matter all of the stuff that we can't control you know the algorithms and all of that crap and focus on actually like mastering your craft or building your business or whatever it is like building it to the best of your ability and learning as you go and being authentic and connecting with people because that's literally how you build it you know and even if it's a business say you have a clothing brand or you have some kind of like company real estate or whatever it is word of mouth travels you know it really does travel even through retweeting on um twitter that's word of mouth because it's like people decide to retweet it and then it has a chain of reaction you know like that's still kind of word of mouth but just online so it's like when you build up a good reputation of just being authentic people will naturally be able to find you because their friends will have shared you or something like that you know it happens naturally and you don't need to worry about all of the irrelevant shit that you can't control and you don't need to worry about how you look how successful you look what other people think of you or any of this stuff just focus on your purpose on your heart, of what feels right, of what you want to do, what you need to do, and just be that and express that, you know? Because things are changing, so you can't really cling on and, like, you could spend forever sitting there wishing that you could organically reach a million people, but it's not going to happen because they've changed it. So you might as well just embrace the way it is and focus on what you can control, which is your craft and whatever it is that you're putting out into the world and why you're doing it and what your message is you know so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching all my links to my music and social media will be in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye i need a man that will hold me down if he a yes man i ain't keeping him around i need a